Hello and welcome to part two of the fairy costume makeup. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Genevieve. If you're not new here, again, welcome back. Please make sure whether you are new or old, you have hit that subscribe button and you have turned on that bell icon so you get post notifications every single time that I post. I post every single Wednesday just for you who want to know. <laughs> Speaking of, if you're watching this the day that I post, it's my birthday tomorrow! I am gonna be 21 years old. I know, it doesn't really seem like it. But yeah, I'm gonna be 21 tomorrow. Like, 21 tomorrow of when this is going out. It's still like five days away or so from this now. But I'm actually really, really excited. I'm gonna be an old girl. I'm finally going to be a fully functioning member of society, age wise. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was really, really exciting. I'm gonna have such a cool party and it's gonna be great. And I'm going to be 21! Hello, yes me, 21 year old lady. But anyway, besides all my 21 uh, year old fiascos, let's get into the video, shall we? So if you didn't watch last week's video, I'd suggest you go do that now because that's like the whole bread and butter of today's video. So today's video, obviously we're going over the makeup for the fairy costume. And I know last week's video was a lot. <laughs> So this week's video is going to be more focused on the entertainment because we all know I'm funny as shit. <laughs> Rather than the instruction because yeah, last week was just a lot of long words. This week we would just want to have fun with it. So this week I'm thinking some Euphoria-esque fairy makeup. So some some gems, some butterfly wings, some pretty pretty shit. <laughs> For those of you wondering, here is my reference photo of what I am kind of doing. I've never done like artistic eyeliner before because that's essentially what this is. Uh, so you know we're we're trialing this together. You and me are both on the same learning path. So of course, to start this look off. We're gonna start off with our foundation. So time to make it look like we have a blank canvas. Cancel out all your features. Also, have you guys seen that chick on TikTok who, like, uses three bottles of foundation every time she does her makeup? Like, the end result ends up looking pretty sick, but, like, every time I watch her videos, all I can think of is, what a waste. Foundation is expensive. Like, if you want a good coverage foundation, that's, like, $70, and she's using an entire bottle, almost, every single time she does her makeup. Okay, that, that is a bit of an exaggeration, but she does use a lot. She uses, like, like that's how much I'm using on my hand. She pours it on, and then she does three layers as well. Mind you, she is getting the views on TikTok, so she probably has the money to do so. Okay, so if any of you have been around for any amount of time, you'll know I normally start with my eyes first, but today we're actually going to do completely different. We're going to start with the face first because we want some nice toasty, toasty look. Toasty, 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 toasty. Um, let's turn you a little bit. Oh. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Don't look over here, don't look over here, don't look over here, don't look over here. Okay, I'm not a massive fan of what's going on with my lighting right now, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, so I know Euphoria is more like pinks and purples and things like that, but it's also got like the gems and thingamabob, so I think I'm like the Euphoria aspect is gonna be all like the gems and things, because our costume, if you saw it last week, was more like pinks, oranges, and yellows. So, what I'm gonna do is literally take this little palette here, and I'm gonna take this pink, this orange, maybe this one up here, and some yellow. I'm literally just gonna mix it all onto one brush and give myself some nice toasty contour. More of the orange though. You know, I don't think I ever explained where I was putting it. Um, I put that color all along here and then just a little bit on the temples and then continued with my normal contour. Yeah, this lining just isn't working, is it? No. Yes. Okay. Right here. Can we take a fluff? A fluff? This type of fluff? And we're gonna put it into the orange and like a little bit of that shape there. Onto our eye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the eyes. Do you know how to give tutorials? Apparently not. Orange. Out of corner. Let's, let's start with that first. Imagine not being educational or entertaining. Wow. Like that, you don't want to make the orange too big because we're going to be putting the butterfly wings over it and you don't want the orange coming out of the butterfly wing. On the inner corner, however, we're going to be putting yellow. That, make as big as you want. And you should have something like this. So now it's time for the super duper easy part, the eyeliner. 
so I'm gonna be trying to do this from memory because I'm still using my phone to film until I get a proper mic and I don't have my laptop downstairs to look at the reference photo and we all know how great I am at drawing from memory <laughs> no but I know it like comes on the inside of your eye flicks up and that up kind of connects with that bit and then there's the bump and then down but feel free to tell me how wrong I was in the comments because you've seen the reference photo you know what it actually looks like um, but that's what we're gonna try to do anyway I'm using the LA covers graphics eyeliner it's a firm tip it's liquid eyeliner but it's firm tip bring you real nice and close so yeah we're gonna try we're gonna start on our good eyes apparently this kind of comes up yeah okay and then put it eyes that's completely gone I drew it in but it's not there I drew it in but it's not there okay so I have to do this okay did I do it <laughs> you know what you know what we can work with that we're just gonna ignore that line in there but we can work with this okay but like why does my bad eye look better like, shh. You know what? We're just gonna move on to the rest of the shape. So, after a quick look at my reference photo again, it like connects about there and it does like a weird. Whoop. Whoop. Okay, so. Yeah. I've forgotten what the shape looks like. Hold up. I suffer from short term memory loss. Okay, so it's a down and then it's a swoop in. Down and a swoop in. Yeah, okay, yep, yep, cool, that's a, that's a thing, that's a shape, shape. And then the bottom part is just like essentially a circle with like the extra things. I think I'm just going to do that because that's what I saw. Does it go to the middle of her eye? I don't know. I'm going to draw a circle. And then that thing. Yeah. Okay. We're going to roll with it. Because rolling with it is kind of the only thing I can do right now. Okay, now we're going to fill in all the like pretty important parts. Hey guys, I'm back, and why do my eyes look huge? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks really obviously strange because I don't have any other my like eyebrows or anything on right now. But oh my gosh, it's so pretty! So it actually wasn't that hard to fill in all the sections. So every like those three bits that we drew before, pretty much divide them in half and round them off to get that you know like that. That's pretty much all you do. And then obviously you fill it in. I did switch to using black paint and this fine pen because my eyeliner kept drying out um, and it was giving me like chunky lines and shit like that. So that's why also if you're using the paint, see all those smudges and things like that. Yeah, wait for it to dry before opening your eyes. Took me a hot minute to learn that lesson. But put it eyes, so it doesn't matter. Wow, this just looks like... <laughs> details? What details? Rest in bitch face, I'm alright. But anyway, let's move on to the rest of our makeup so we don't look so strange. Taking an angled brush like this, I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows. And again, I use eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows. I'm proud to say it. I don't spend 50 bucks on no brow products because we just got eyeshadow. So I just brush through my eyebrows and shove that shit right in there. Like I said, halfway done already. If you're using pomades and things like that and you prefer pomades and you go for your life, um, I literally only started using eyeshadow because I ran out of my eyebrow products. But like, if you're using um, powdered products anyway, eyeshadow's where it's at. Also, this lighting is doing me a madness. My eyebrow does not look that dark. I'm just saying, that looks like I've just given myself some sort of like sharpie brow or some shit. It's not that dark, I promise. I'm trying to sell eyeshadow as eyebrow products here, but like... What I'm seeing over here ain't what I'm seeing over here. <laughs> They're even. Wow. Imagine that. Anyway, now we are going to highlight the shit out of everything, basically. You know what? Let's use this brush. I've never used this brush. I have two big fluffy brushes that I've never used out of my set. This is now going to be a highlighter brush. You're welcome. Initiation. Right, so I think we're going to take this color here. It's kind of like a champagne sort of pinky. And then we're just going to go over the nose uh, <laughs> nose different color just on the inner lids under the brows and when I say highlight the shit out of it I mean like 
make it look like you are dripping in gold. Whoa, baby! So as you can probably tell, <clears throat> because I'm not too sussed on the whole like natural look, um, I'm going to be doing a mix of natural and unnatural freckles. So I'm going to go in with some browns and I'm going to, you know, just dot all on my face. Then I'm also going to do some in some white paint because I think some white highlights would look extra fab with this look right now. Oh yeah, again using eyeshadow just on a brush. Ta-da! This is the face of a dying woman because I just like did a whole hype session. I wasn't filming. <sighs> but you know we can hype ourselves up again because boy I look so cute. You cannot tell me I do not look cute because I'll know you're lying. Like, <laughs> look how cute this is. Like my eyes are popping. So, what I was talking about anyway, was saying, I hope you guys can see the freckles because I've got the lights in my face so I can't see all the details and thing on my bobs. Um, I said I was going to use brown and white, which I did, but I also added a little bit of a maroon burgundy colour uh, because obviously our faces are very orange anyway. And, what were we on to now? Lips. Uh, oh, I haven't even put on my mascara. <laughs> okay, so finally, lips. I do have this little like, glouse. This was actually a clear lip gloss, but I put it on top of my lipstick and now it's now it's not. So I could just chuck this on. We'll see, we'll see. Mm, not quite sure what happened there, Chief, but uh, that ain't it. Okay, so we're going to mix these two together. It's kind of like a coppery bronze and like a coppery orange. Coppery orange, copper is kind of orange. We're going to mix those two together uh, with the gloves. I also added a little bit of a berry color just to deepen it. Abby, lip gloss one, where are you? Hello. Who the fudge is she? Because I wish I, I can't do the pops, I'm, unfortunately. I can't, like. Jeffree Star, do it for me. Please take it away. Oh, crrr. Okay. <laughs> Tell me if she's not so cute. My normal hair would actually be, like, pretty perfect for this, considering it's all, like, orangey and copper tones, but my hair's a little bit on the greasy side, not gonna lie. So I need to find, like, a nice wig to go with. <laughs> Gosh, guys, it turned out so good. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a last minute design, uh, what do you call it? Uh, thingy? Idea, I guess. And I added some of these little glitters into the black parts, and honestly, I think it makes it look even cuter. If you want to know how I made the outfit, which I'm wearing only a tiny part of, unfortunately I'm now running late for rehearsals for the show that's coming soon, so I can't put on the whole costume now, but if you'd like to see photos, no jokes, if you want to see how I made the costume, make sure to check out part one, thank you for coming and watching part two, and I'll see you next week, where I will be an official 21-year-old lady. Peace! Thank you, Mama,